Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 build video of the ERC Time Save foam cutter machine. In this video, we are going to build the Y axis and these are the parts that you are going to need. Let's get them ready and start building. The first part we are going to start is your 2040 aluminum extrusion. You need one meter of it. One very important thing I would like to highlight again is that make sure you bought a V slot aluminum extrusion, not a T slot. They are both different extrusion so the aluminum extrusion i got has a 4 mm diameter hole i'm going to drill it with a 4.5 mm drill bit and then tape it with an m5 trap you can lean your aluminum extrusion 90 degree angle parallel to the table make sure it's straight and then we are going to need to drill only about 5 mm deep into the aluminum uh, as we are using only 8 mm m5 screw so i've made a marking here for about 5 mm depth and then try to drill it as straight as possible Now I'm going to thread it with an M5 taper as I don't have a proper tool, I'll just use a plier. An easy way will be gripping the taper with your plier and then just rotate the aluminum extrusion like this so you can ensure that it's straight and also much easier to turn. So if you feel like very hard, if you feel like it's stuck, then that should be the enough depth ready. The thread looks good and I'm able to put screw in to rotate smoothly you can clean the edge here by using a larger drill bit for example a 9mm drill bit to create a fillet at the opening so that your screw can go in easily now repeat the same thing on the other side drill it with a 4.5mm drill bit and uh, tape it with an M5 uh, taper Now that we have created thread in the aluminum extrusion, we can start installing the side plate. So I'll start with the right plate. Please ignore this repair line since I have accidentally kicked it hard on the ground. So I'll need an M5 8mm screw. Slot it in. Another one. And I recommend adding thread lock for metal to metal connection. notice the orientation and the next thing we're going to do is not installing this just yet we are going to install the Y plates in this part you are basically assembling the Y carriage notice the orientation this is the upper plate this is the lower plate in the case of your part you will not have this tiny part over here but just a rectangular hole so I'm going to install the rollers first you need the M5 40mm screw slot into the lower plate one 5 mm spacer then a v-slot roller and a 3 mm spacer then a nut then repeat on all four mounting holes i recommend adding thread lock here as well you do not need to tighten this nut and screw to the maximum for now because we are not using any eccentric nut uh, for you to adjust the gap in between the roller and the extrusion. We are using a fixed method to keep it as simple as possible. So it could be tight when you are slotting in the extrusion now. Oh, but this is quite smooth for, uh, for mine. Now we are going to install the stepper motor. We will need 4 M3 8mm screw and uh, notice the orientation also the motor orientation this side will be where your Arduino is so I recommend the socket facing to the back apply thread lock now to install the stepper motor's drive gear we will just roughly secure it for now we will decide the height later as we install the belt now we are going to install the Y carriage onto the aluminum extrusion and uh, notice the longer part of the side plate is facing ourselves and the motor is facing ourselves as well. So now I'm going to slot it in and you have to check whether it's smooth or not. In my case it's very smooth and due to the weight of the stepper motor, in your case there could be a slight bend uh, like this. Now I've confirmed that it's sliding smoothly. I'm going to put in the X plate here. You have to align the upper plate to the screw properly for it to go in. If it's too tight, you can loosen the screws at the back. So there's a little bit of play for it to move. And now check on the smoothness again. So I'll just 
roughly put this thumb nut in you do not need to tighten it maximum for now because in the next video as we build the x axis we are going to remove the upper plate again to put in the x stepper motor now we are going to install the left side plate and notice the orientation the longer part will be facing that side just like the parts over here the longer parts facing the back put in m5 8mm screw Now we are going to install the belt for the y-axis. Prepare a length of about 165 or 166 cm length. So I slot it in and notice the side with the gear is facing inside. You can cut an angle here so that it slots in nicely. Easy. Get a tweezer, it will be a big help for this kind of tight space. Now pull it. Make sure you don't flip the belt. Slot it in through the left roller. Pull it out. Cross it over the idle gear so it looks like my height is quite correct making sure you, you didn't turn the belt to the other side slot it in again so of course in your position it will be uh, much easier to install but uh, I'm in an awkward position as I need to show you in a camera and I'm sitting in an awkward uh, an angle so it's a little bit tougher for me to put it in and also at the same time to ensure that it's fully in the camera's view Oh yeah, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Now I'm going to install it to the tensioner. Notice the belt teeth orientation again. Install M5 10mm screw through the hole. Apply thread lock as well. Alright, so for this part, we may have to adjust it again later because your Arduino Uno will be on this side and you want to make sure that uh, as your Y carriage go all the way here, it doesn't hit onto your Arduino Uno. Now make sure the belts are parallel along the whole passage. Pull it to the back and then in terms of tightness, you are only going to need to make sure that uh, it's straight. It doesn't need to be very, very tight. So as soon as you feel the tension, that's enough. You do not need to tension it until very high. As long as you feel the tension, tighten it. By now, your Y carriage may not be moving smoothly, but that's fine. I have been cutting many foam board and this is okay because there's a resistance in a uh, stepper motor. So at this time, you can check on whether drive gear is parallel to the belt or not. And in my case, it's slightly offset. So I can start adjusting it again. Okay, now it's perfectly at the center of the drive gear. This will be a homing plate to bound your machine to the foam board to ensure that even if they move, they move together. So you may or may not need to glue this uh, together because it's quite tight congratulations you have installed your y-axis the next video will be assembling the x-axis thanks for watching please like and subscribe